Hello students, this is Miss Sin, and I'm going to be um, reading some and telling you um, some information and showing you some resources so that you can learn more about nuclear energy, which comes from uranium. So that's why I have a slash here. Nuclear is the type of energy source, and uranium is the actual element that's in the ground that we um, get up, mine from the ground, and then we use that element material to create the nuclear energy. So the first part here in this page that I'll have shared with you tells you a little bit about um, the fact that this type of energy is non-renewable and what that means. The next here just tells that we use this type of energy to make electricity, which is we need lots and lots. Here it gives you some examples what we use electricity to use for. I'm going to read you this paragraph so you can follow along and it'll give you the step by steps um, how this energy is created and then I'll show you a couple of graphics and show you that way. So here it's, it is in words and then you'll see it in picture. Nuclear energy is energy in the source. Sorry, nuclear energy is energy in the nucleus or the core of an atom, the middle. We'll learn more about that next year. Atoms are tiny particles that make up every object in the universe. There is an enormous energy in the bonds, or the things that hold these atoms together. Nuclear energy can be used to make electricity, but first the energy must be released, given off. It can be released from these atoms in two ways, either by nuclear fusion or nuclear fission. Atoms are made up of three major particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. The most common visible atom is uranium, which is the fuel used in most parts of nuclear reactors today. Nuclear power plants use the heat, so that's a key, heat that is given off during this, during this fission as a fuel. So fission takes place inside of a reactor, so I'll show you a picture of that, of the nuclear power plants. At the center of this reactor is called a core, which contains the uranium fuel. So this, where we get it out of the ground, we put it into this core, and then it is broken up. The nuclear fuel is formed into ceramic pellets, little pieces that, that are about the size of your fingertip, and each one of those produces the same amount of energy as 150 gallons of oil. So that's one reason why nuclear energy is a very um, popular or powerful source. One little bit produces the same as 150 gallons of oil. These energy-rich pellets are stacked end-to-end -end in a 12-foot metal fuel rod. And you'll see a graphic of those in just a minute. The bundle of fuel rods are called a fuel assembly. Fission generates the heat, so when they break up those atoms, it generates heat in the reactor, just as coal generates heat in a boiler. That heat is used to boil water. Boiled water becomes steam naturally. The steam turns a huge turbine blade, which I'll have shown you a picture of. And as these turbine blades turn, they cause a generator to to create electricity, which I'll have told you about a generator. Afterward, then that steam from the hot water is just cooled down. It comes back into the form of water. It cooled in a separate um, structure, and I'll show you that in a bit, at the power plant at, called the cooling tower, and then that water is used again and again and again. So it's recycled. So the site here, I'm going to take you, if you click on that link, it'll tell you take you here gives you a little bit more information. Some of that you might not understand, and that's okay. But here's the graphic. So here are those rods of the uranium. They already have it um, in pellets. It's already out of the ground. Take it to this location. Here's your hot water, because as, as this breaks up, remember those atoms are going to um, break apart. It gives off a tremendous amount of heat, and that heat is funneled over here to the water. That water gets hot, becomes steam, goes through here, that steam then is causes this turbine to spin, and that rod um, 
connects to a generator and that generator creates the electricity and then this electricity would be connected to a tower sent to wherever it's needed. And then as I told you, this is a closed system. So they cool down that water, it goes back up in here, gets hot again over and over and over again. They don't waste the water. And then here's another graphic that might help some of you understand it even better. Same, same concept. So number one is here's your reactor. So you've got to get the uranium out of the ground, put it into pellets in here, and then they would start the atoms breaking apart, giving off that tremendous amount of steam that would, uh, sorry, giving off a lot amount of heat that would create the steam that would be funneled through this turbine, which would spin. That spin shaft would cause the generator to also um, create the electricity. And there's the tower taking the electricity where it needs to go. Then the steam continues down here where this, in the cooling tower, it is the water is cooled down. Now water, once it becomes water again, comes back into step number three here where it turned back into steam and again and again and again using that water to um, create the steam and then turn the turbine which turns a generator and creates that electricity. So the closest one that we have around us is up by Lake Erie called Davis Bessie and I'll show you a picture of that when you guys are working. So I hope this helps you understand and so you can help your classmates understand nuclear power.